Hello, everyone, and welcome to a new productive week. In this week, we shall cover the following. The first lesson will highlight the a new text, which is a letter. The letter is called You Are the Electric uh, Boogaloo and Just Be Yourself. Moreover, we shall indicate the components of the letter and how to write a formal or informal letter. The ATLs are communication and critical thinking. Whereas in the second lesser, lesson, we are going to discuss the structure of a conclusion. And also, because you've all worked so hard and produced your first draft in segments, you must write your second draft all together, including the conclusion. So in other words, you will look at the feedback given uh, in regards to your introduction and your bo three body paragraphs, then produce your conclusion in order to have a total of five paragraphs, one for the introduction, one for the rising action, one for the uh, climax, and one for the falling action, and finally the resolution, which is equivalent to the conclusion of your nonfiction narrative. The ATLs covered will include the following, communication and creative thinking. In the third lesson, we are going to begin with an explicit. So all of you were asking me in regards to the ATLs, the communication and cre creative thinking. So because you're writing a nonfiction narrative and you're, able, you're going to communicate an experience you faced or an event that altered your perspective, you are going to illustrate communication because it is a form of communication to communicate your ideas and your experiences. And creative uh, thinking is implemented through your writing. How are you writing? What purpose? And how are you engaging your audience through your creative, pro through your creative process? Therefore, we are going to specifically highlight uh, two classes to illustrate how these ATLs are also applicable elsewhere. For instance, the first ATL, we're going to explain uh, the purpose, uh, uh, writing for different purposes. You're going to create diverse advertisements reflecting one of the prompts that I shall divide you into groups for. The fourth lesson is another explicit class where you will create original works and ideas using existing works and ideas in new ways. So in other words, and this is something that I've uh, mentioned prior, that a lot of people come up with ideas that are originally generated from pre-existing ideas. For, in, for example, ancient Sumerians came up with the first wheel made out of wood and they used it to create, carry things from one place to the other. However, the wheel today is very different, and it shows here how we progressed an innovative idea to suit our time and space due to advancement in technology. You are going to come up with a creative original work from existing work, such as diverse art artists during the Renaissance era drew, drew images that reflect their time. Moreover, you're going to take a look at these artistic work and generate your own piece of art. And finally, we are going to explain how to generate an effective research question. And this will be a library class. Uh, our uh, lovely librarian is going to take the time to teach us about ways to generate a smart uh, member specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, or realistic and time specific research question. And this will be very helpful for, you, uh, for your assessment later on for individuals and societies. Have a lovely week, everyone, and I wish you the best.